guys, welcome back to some more Vitamin Y. So today is a Thursday, that means we're using Cosmic U-Bell. So yes, I am still sick. I'm pretty much going to say that I am still sick until I am done being sick. So, you know, you guys can know that coming into this video, whether it's going to be like, yay, Daniel's fine, or no, Daniel's, um, he, he has Ebola. No, I don't have Ebola, but yeah, I'm, I'm sick. Uh, it's not Ebola, calm down. Not, no, I'm bleeding out of damn every fucking orifice. No, it's just a, it's a simple cold. Yeah, but I'll get over it soon. I'm taking a lot of medicine, resting my body, except for when I gotta, you know, do YouTube videos for you guys. You know, that's not gonna change anything. But uh, definitely, definitely, um, just sick. So hopefully, I will get well soon. Anyway, uh, we are using uh, Cosmic e Bell. So I actually changed the deck around a little bit, and by changing the deck, and I've been doing this with a lot of the U Bell decks lately. I've been trying to get U Bell more involved with the deck. So I've been increasing the uh, the amount of senders. So this deck used to have only one Armageddon Knight, and that was it. You know, one Armageddon Knight in the form of Ubel. So I was just like, oh, Armageddon Knight, send just Ubel, and that's it. So I decided to go ahead and change the deck around and get Ubel more involved with the deck by having Ubel send um, send Ubel more consistently. I've been doing that with a lot of the Ubel decks, increasing the sending consistency. But uh, the only problem that we're running into is the summoning of Terror. You know, yes, we have a ton of revival. Yes, we have Call of the Hunters. Yes, we have Oasis. Yes, we have, you know, stuff like that. But those don't help turn Yubel into Terror, and that's really what the problem is. You know, I could send Yubel to the graveyard all I want, but, you know, if I don't... Well, you you know what? It's cool. It's cool. Oh, no, never mind. You're going to Abstract. Are you going to show me your Fly Wingman? Sure. That's cool. So, uh, you're either sending Bistronitix or Avion and becoming that. That's cool. I don't know, you're actually using a hero deck. This should be interesting. You're using a hero deck, and I'm using a Ubel deck. That might be interesting. Uh, except I'm not pure Ubel, so. So you're going to go ahead and play Polly? Oh, okay. All over, so. Go ahead and summon that bitch back. Yes, that's fine. You got two Bishina tricks on the field right now. All right, so you're going to fuse Bishina tricks with Bishina tricks? And summon who? The fire guy, right? Yep. All right. I have to say, I thought you. Know, I thought we were gonna get the name on. I was to say, oh shit, like, like shit. He's summoning Bastionitex and Bastionitex. I was gonna say, I, it's been a little while since I've seen GX, but I don't remember there being a fusion with just two Bastionitexes. Bastion, 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 I, but, I don't, I don't know. Go ahead and summon uh, Armageddon Knight. It's a fact. I was thinking about summoning you, but there's really no point. And, that, and, that, and, that, and literally, that, that's literally the problem that we've been uh, running into lately is that, yes, we can get you to a graveyard. Yes, we have revival. But is the revival something that can uh, help assist in becoming. Um, in becoming. Uh, uh, terror? No. You've never seen you using heroes, and you've never seen you bell. <laughs> ah, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this. Summon you XC. I have one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Nope, we're even. So I ain't gonna do it. I guess I can go into one on one. I'm kind of worried about back row, of course, like usual. But you know, even if he hits me back row, at least I have another oasis so I can easily just you know block that. So almost I'm okay. Now I can just go like, all right. Play. I'm just, I'm afraid of leaving this guy on the field because every time he destroys me by battle, he draws a card. And usually you wouldn't care if he destroyed a battle, but I don't like the idea of him plussing. So, back. Oh, okay. He just he just do it over to me. Like, all right. I thought maybe we were gonna like, yeah, you know, you're gonna respond to something, but no. He just tosses. It. He's like, here, take it. Like, okay. I will gladly take it. Wonder what those back rows are then. MSTs? I say if they were MSTs, you should have played the MST on my Oasis at the end of the phase. Oh no, because you just said them. Never mind. I'm sick. I don't know what I'm talking about. Ugh. I hate being sick. I do. I hate it so much. It makes me super tired, like super exhausted. My body takes all the energy to fight the cold that I don't have enough energy to do damn videos, so I gotta freaking literally just, you know just double down and get to it. Damn, he is all over the shit out of his genetics. He is 
summoning this bitch right here. He is he is summoning this bitch. Polly again. All right. Bishina takes hand. Bubble leaf. All right. And summoning. Ab. All right. The absolute man himself. You're not going to attack. Okay. I'm running one dark refer just in case I draw you, Bell. I like the peacekeeper aspect of it all, but it's pretty clear that drawing it right now wasn't the best to play. And so I'm going to go ahead and turn the defense. I'm going to set this and go ahead. For right now, I can take the dual soul. This doesn't go in the way because the monster was exceed with. If it was secret summon, it would go away, but exceed now. I do love this card, though. But that's literally like one of the key problems that I'm like running into right now when it comes to incorporating you, Bell, in other decks. I can summon you bell. Yes, I can summon you bell right now. I can summon I can have any ways to summon you bell. Can I turn into terror? And the answer is of course no. So what I was thinking about doing was maybe throwing a little bit of Archfiend Eater, because Archfiend Eater can go ahead and go and you know eat you bell and turn into terror using all my level cards, but the problem is, is that it's earth. If it was dark then we'd be golden, but it's earth, so <sighs> So maybe, uh, clearly I'm getting a whole bunch of these Armageddon Night Dark Gruffers and that's not looking that hot right now. What play can I do right now? I'm trying to think, but I'm not getting any fucking Yang Zing. So maybe we will play Archfiend Eater, but like I said, we can make a Levalo Chain and send it. Why? I wish it was dark. Like, why? Like, why did they make that the nefarious Archfiend of nefarious necessity? Why'd they make that fucker fucking... Uh, uh, what am I trying to say? What to make that fucker Earth? Ah, uh, trying to think. I, c I can go for a Goyo Guardian, but then of course Goyo Guardian would kill him. Then I would get my effect. He would get his effect, and he would summon. And then when it leaves the field again, like if he takes out, so I'm gonna get wiped again because it resolves in the graveyard. So that's not the best plan either. Just go ahead. I. I, I need that's one of the one thing I don't I don't like about Yang Zing. I really need my opponent to commit to some plays. You know, right now I'm not really getting anything, so you know I really can't commit to anything. I can go for, especially with Absolute Zero just staring me down right now. All right, there we go. Now we can get started. Now we can get started. I'm gonna summon a uh, Bixie. Oh, it has to be an attack card. Ah, uh, do I want to do this? Yeah, I say so. Uh, I'm gonna activate these two. Is that okay? So, like I said, I... Jesus! <laughs> Draw. Sink. Eight. I would love, I would love to go for fucking, uh, Baxia, but I have to go for Beals. I have to. Uh, this is gone. Yeah. Beals. Sula effect and uh, Bixie effect. So clearly right now it's not working because I drew, um, you know, Armageddon's Night Dark Reference. So like literally in this deck, that's why I was, you know, trying to balance out. I wanted to get Evel more incorporated with the deck, so I wanted to increase the odds of sending it. But then, of course, literally our only targets in this deck are literally Ubel. So, you know, that's the question. How many how many Armageddon Night Dark Reference do we need? What's the ratio, you know? Plus 500 sewer effect. Deals is 3500. Jesus. Uh, I'll go ahead and set you and pass. I probably should turn the 101 to attack mode, but it's cool. Yeah, I'm 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 sick. I'm not even. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking really hard for being sick. I'm trying to. Just figure out how I want to incorporate. I want you to be incorporated in it. I don't like decks that are just like, hey, this is this deck with you belt thrown in it. You know, I don't like those kind of decks. You know, like I don't. I, and I was worried. I was slowly but surely. Cosmic you bell was slowly turning into just Fire King you bell, where it's just like, hey, this is Yang Zing with you bell in it. You know, so I didn't like that. I didn't like that. So, I, uh, I'm trying to 
you know, change how the deck is ran. I want it to be different, but you know, I just need to figure out how we're going to do it, how we're going to incorporate, uh, you know, Yubel into this, you know? Because it would be so awesome to go ahead and go, like, you know, activate Call of the Haunted, you know, summon Yubel, you know, and have it destroy, have Terror Beals on the field. You know, that'd be great, but, you know, I, I want to get Yubel more involved with the decks on, um, on Vitamin Y that need, that are based on it, you know? You know? Like, uh, you know, with Super Vice, Yubel's in there. If need be, I can summon Yubel. If I don't need it, I don't need it, but I don't want it to just be you bell splashed in the deck. You guys get what I mean. So, like I said, I'm I'm thinking about playing Nefarious, but if only if only he wasn't fucking Earth. We'll get one more duel in. One more duel. If he only wasn't fucking Earth, like why'd they make him Earth? Wow, I'm like all the way at the bottom. I'm probably never gonna get someone to come and duel me. You now, if he was dark, hell yeah, hell yeah, I'd run him. Hell fucking yeah. But dark, I mean, but Earth, I I just can't figure out a, a way to possibly get him to the graveyard without the Volvo Chain or without drawing him. Yeah, you know? I could run Mathematician, but then Mathematician can't send anybody but him. You know, so you know. And I said this number generator, it might just be beneficial just to throw one in there just because you know, there's a pretty good chance that I'll draw him. Uh, so yeah, I could get you Bell involved and summon Armageddon Knight and send you Bell and do all that and he could MST my Oasis, but like I said, right now, that's just not the best of plans. I think I'll just take it like this. This guy has high rating. Look at that. Like, this guy should be in rated, so... So let's see what he's using. Cleat Put, Burning Abyss, Shadows. Let's we'll see. So with your high rating, I expect you to be definitely using something meta related, but if not, then that's cool too, but you know, just at this point, I'm really unfazed. So so we might we maybe try him, maybe try one. Nefarious archery and nefariousness this 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 it is. Yang Zing can stall out until I get it ready, and then, you know, go ahead and put it, you know, activate Call, activate uh, Oasis, activate, you know, something along those lines, and uh, just during the end phase, go ahead and go pop, and, uh, uh, and uh, summon tear, so, you know, and the Yang Zings will be going ahead and popping, and going off, I actually uh, took out a supply, supply squad, I'm not liking that card, I am not liking that card. Hello? Oh, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. No, don't do that. <laughs> Confusing me. <laughs> like, like, Rhoda, get two warriors? Like, what the fuck? Like, oh, and here's my other Rhoda. Like, no. <laughs> anyway, continue. Continue. I looked at that, and I typed it, and I was like, continue, and I looked at it, and I'm like, is that how you fucking do it? I'm like, yeah. I've gotten plenty of game overs in my life, in my lifetime, so yeah, that's how you fucking continue. Alright. Alright. You could tribute one other life monster, add one. Are you going to use his effect? Are you going to tribute? Yep. I send effect, tribute, then you add one level for dark warrior type monster from your deck to your hand, and then you send one card from your hand to be That is so bad. Why is that bad? You neg so hard. Like, it would be fine if you just tribute one other light monster and then added level four. Why do you gotta send one card from your hand to the to the graveyard? That's stupid. That guy is stupid. This is stupid. What's the second effect? At attack declaration and creation effects. All right, who are we summoning? We'll summon. We'll summon Dixie 
yeah, Bixie and Gel too. Because I can literally summon Armageddon Knight and go into Alleles next turn, so that's chill. I don't like this guy. You can bash on Dark Monster from your grave to target one monster on the field. That's it too? Oh my god, that guy is just slame. Armageddon Knight. In fact, I'll show you Armageddon Knight. So, like I said, we might we might run uh, a nefarious eye tree and nefariousness. We might start doing that. He's like, oh. It's like eight. Go ahead and go ahead and go to Beals. He was unaffected by traps. I don't get that bonus attack, but it's fine. So your deck is very level four based, so I'm probably guess I'm gonna get one of ones, which is totally fine. I'm chill. If I had nefarious archery nefariousness, I could just oasis summon you Bell and then kill it during the end phase. So, so there's a good chance. Ooh, BLS, BLS, Chaos Rusher, BLS, BLS, Chaos Rusher. All right. Let's go ahead and type in effect. That's cool. Hmm. Okay. Are you gonna use his effect? Yeah, you are. All right. You're gonna get rid of him to get one and. I don't like that. This is such a fucking nag. Like, it'd be fine if you tribute, then add. Why do you gotta tribute, then send, and... I don't like that. I don't like that. Like, you're negging. Slowly but surely, you're negging. Alright, so you're gonna gain 500 attack, that's fine. 21, that's chill. That's chill, yep. Totally gonna activate Oasis. Alright, so who do I wanna summon? Uh, I wanna summon. Yeah, you. So, you can go ahead and redeclare if you want to. You can redeclare if you want to. I really don't give a shit. Why don't you just leave it there? I don't give a really fuck. But nope. All right, you want to leave it there? Sure. Ooh, limit reverse. Interesting. So I guess you're planning on banishing me with Chaos Sorcerer. Is that the thing? Hmm. How do I want to handle this situation? I can handle the situation by taking some damage on the chin. I could turn Jiatsu to attack mode. Is that permanently? Until the end of your opponent's turn. Alright, so you are 21. Until the end of my turn. Alright. I could turn you to attack mode. Attack. Summon. Summon. Normal summon. Main phase 2. Go into Bixie and spin those guys back. I think I'll go ahead and do that. Facts. Summon you. Uh, summon... No, 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 summon you, no, I'll summon you with Oasis, and I'll summon you with Jiao too. And I'll summon, I think, eight. Uh, this is gone, this is gone. I need to keep track of things like this. I think eight, we'll go ahead and go into course backs here. Correct. Spin these two. Yeah, we got the revival. We got the revival. We just need the destruction. We need to find a way to just turn uh, oh, Nibel into terror. Because then we literally have three Lunar Reverse, three Calls, three Oasis. We have the revival. We have the technology. We just need to figure out how to turn terror 
and I mean you build a chair without having to use like MST or something along those lines. You know, a consistent way of construction, which the only guy I can think of is nefarious archery of nefariousnessnessness. So we'll go ahead and try him next time. Yeah, make a one on one and take me. You gonna take my body? You gonna summon a warrior? Yep, summon him. Or summon him. Yep, yep, yep. XC. What the fuck does this do? If you control. If you control both light and dark monsters, you could target one of your banners on a dark one of your hand. Oh, okay. XC into. 101? Cast out? 101? Exiton! That's fine. Chain. Effect. Uh, what's terror? There you are, terror. Right, like I said, I wanted to get you about more involved. I didn't want to lose my goddamn uh, uh, creation, though. Like that sucks, but everything else is okay. Uh, maybe he was gonna go for a uh, one on one, but no, he was straight up full on X ton. So that's cool. But right now, I know exactly. I know everything that he has right now. Or even right now, I'm not gonna go into battle phase. Set. See, and then I could turn Terror into an ultimate. So yeah, we, we might run Nefarious Archer and Nefariousness. That might be actually really good. Effect. Effect. Uh, it could be either or. It doesn't matter. Alright, so I know you have Photon Thrasher and I don't know what you drew. Alright, summon Photon Thrasher, normal summon Guy Guy Polar Knight, whatever the fuck his name is. XC N2, Castell. Yep. Protect your target. Yep. I do not get ultimate nightmare. Sub the slag. Put it on top of the deck. Thank you. What the fuck with this lag? I don't get the effect. Terror can't activate in the deck, so. I don't know, Castel, the existence of Castel makes Yvelle a sad, 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 sad puppy, but, oh well. This lag is seriously, Dion, Dion's lagging, like, seriously. Oh, just lost connection, I guess Dion is down. Oh, I'm ending the episode then. <laughs> wow, what an anticlimactic ending. Alright, but uh, yeah, so, gonna go ahead and put Nefarious Archer and Nefariousness in, go ahead and try him out. Alright, so, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode despite that, like I said. We were still sitting okay. It wasn't like, oh my god, we lost this duel. Like, we were still chill. Like I said, Castell couldn't run over my, uh, my, uh, Big C. I was just gonna set the, um, thing. At this point, we're both top decking, but, you know, I float, so I have a much better, uh, time. And eventually, I would just go ahead and Ziggler summon to something to run over the Castell and handle the situation. So I was gonna win that duel anyway. Uh, unless some Yu-Gi-Oh, this guy right here, Yu-Gi-Oh shit, but I, I doubt it. Alright, so, uh, I apologize for DM being weird. Like, my internet is fine. It's just DM being weird sometimes. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed. So um, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. We will see you. I'll see you guys tomorrow with Supervise. Supervise getting back to its roots. Let's see what it can do. All right, thanks for watching.